Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a couple of people have been posting these layered artworks on Facebook page, and somebody asked me this morning how to draw one, and I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's some steps in here I don't quite have uh, gotten the uh, steps down, but I'm going to start, so this is part one of this doing this artwork and hopefully I'm not going to steer you in the wrong direction but as you know I like drawing in the center of the page so we're going to start and draw in the center of the page and there's one of the key key this is the center I'm going to start from the center so I'm going to take a the uh, lips tool and I'm just going to draw out a an ellipse kind of like this elongated I'm going to go up and I'm going to convert it to a curve and then I'm going to go with my shape tool and I'm going to delete these two nodes and then I'm going to take this node well I could take both nodes and convert them into a cusp and then I can manually move the angles over to my liking and this is real hard to get it symmetrical, but it doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to show you a little trick to make it look symmetrical. And you can play around with this quite a bit. But there you've got a shape, but it's not symmetrical. And you need it, especially when you're going to start drawing this, you need it symmetrical. And so I'm going to take the shape and I'm going to duplicate Control D. And then I'm going to mirror it. Then I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool. And fill it in and now I have a symmetrical pedal left click right click and you've got a symmetrical pedal so we'll get rid of these other two and we're going to put P and put it back in the center of the page and then we're going to contour it. we're going to go up to effects contour we're going to contour point point one to the inside now this is gonna if you start making one of these for yourself you need to think about the strength of the wood because this is made out of a plywood material and I'm gonna have trouble figuring out how they glue it so symmetrically on top of each other and maybe somebody that's drawn one will chime in and tell us how they're doing it but I'm gonna go ahead and break the contour apart because first of all, if you don't, you don't get your rotation up here. So you have to break your rotation apart. Now you can see your rotations back. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. And that still might, I might have to group it together. Nope, it worked. So I'm going to rotate it to 45 degrees. And I can see that I'm not quite fat enough. Because I need these two to be touching. So let's back up here. Completely delete that one. And we're going to get rid of our contour. I didn't, I didn't group them together. So we can get rid of our contour. Well, we got rid of the whole thing. Go up to arrange. Break objects apart. We need to be a little bit fatter with our object. Because we want this touching. So we want a little bit, grab one side, and it should still be symmetrical, and you can always test that by Control D and mirror it, and we are. So now let's Control D and make, well, let's contour it. Effects, contour to the inside point one, and once again, we're going to have to break the contour apart, which would be Control K. Control D and make a duplicate of that and move the rotation of the tip of the red one and rotate at 45 degrees. And see, I knew that was going to happen. We have to group these together for just a second to get the rotation to work. And I think I haven't made a duplicate yet. So Control D and make a duplicate. Double click on it and get a rotation of that node. Rotate at 45 degrees. Now they are touching. It's going to work.
Control D, Control D, Control D, Control. My laptop does that from time to time. So we're touching and we're good. So now we're going to go and break, arrange, and ungroup objects. And we're going to set our nudge distance on something big to get it out of the way. And I'm going to nudge these inner parts of the pedal out of the way. And actually, we'll go a little bit further. Now I can take and weld these. And now our pedal is going to stay together. And now I can move this back. And there is the cut line for the very top edge of our project. So this is going to be that outside border that has been painted black. So this is step one. I do not know if I'm going to, when I'm going to finish part two. But I think I'm just going to store this video and then post them all at one time. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.